Ramadan, Ramadan Kareem, we say that yeah, for, for this holy month, 30 days of fasting, and yeah. Yes, yesterday, a friend of mine asked me why we fast. It's not... It did not ask me because, I mean, it's, it just asked me because he wanted to understand. Like, you know, fasting, yeah. You know, fasting is one of, one of, um, is it the, is it this? I think it's the fourth pillar of Islam, you know, fasting, I think, if I, I think the first, the first pillar is, is, um, is Shahada, where you say that, like, um, um, when you say there's no God, but only God, you know, Ashadon la la la, Ashadon na Muhammad, uh, and you know, that's, you know, those things, yeah, that's, that's the Shahada, so that's the first, that's the first pillar of Islam, and, and the second pillar of Islam is Salat, you know, the, the prayer, you know, God prescribe us to fast and um, to pray five times, you know, a day, only five times a day. And the third pillar, I the third, the third pillar, I think, is a zakat, you know, like giving, um, giving donation to charity or, you know, to people that um, need it, you know, according to how much you earn, that there's certain percentage you take and then you give it, um, you give it that. And I think the fourth, yeah, you know, the fourth pillar is is fasting. And during, I think it's the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. And during the period of 30 days, we fast. And, you know, during the fasting, there's quite a lot of things that, you know, happening. I mean, the benefit of fasting, yeah. And I think now even science, um, you know, say that the benefit of the fasting things that even health and part of, part of the diet, part of healthy diet, um, you know, science asks people to have like intermittent fasting, you know, the intermittent fasting. So uh, part of uh, part of that is also good for good for the health. And also, it's also connection during the fasting period, uh, the holy months of Ramadan for, for Muslim is moment where you get even much, much closer to God and, you know, you have that spirituality connection uh, with God. And at that moment, you just focus, you know, all your energy, all your attention to to God. Yeah. And also during that month where, you know, for us, for Muslims, also to live the life of people that are less, less fortunate, you know, people that don't have enough food, for example, we can live that by experiences and not be able to eat for a whole day. It gives you that experience of, you know, people that are struggling is quite important as well. Yeah, for me, it's really outstanding. And, and yeah, and the last, the last pillar of, of Islam is Hajj, you know, like you go to um, you go to Mecca and you go around, you know, Kaaba, and so that's you know, that's part of it. So I will be.
I will try to document this journey of the fasting for the 30, 30 day period. If I can, if I can film every day, I will do it. But if I cannot, so I will document whenever I am able to, to document. And also, I will try to get so much learning or insight after this period, so much motivation that I will try to get after this period as well, so that you know you can you can also follow me. And if if you are keen, I'm not asking you to um, to follow, you know, to follow the Islam fasting. But if you want, so you can join me, so we can do the fasting together according to how much you can fast, right? So just let me know in the comment box below if you want you want to join me, if you want to do intermittent fasting, if you want to try only one you know, day for you to see, it's good. It's going to be very good for you as well. So basically how we, you know, how we fast, yeah. Like I said, you know, per day that we pray five times, yeah, we pray five times. The first thing start from before dawn, yeah, before the sun rise till the sun set. And from for them, I'm here in London here. For us, I think there's the time starting from four o'clock till I think 10 to eight or something like that in the evening. That's it during the time where you don't eat nothing and you don't drink anything. Nothing should go through your mouth or nothing should go through anything. So you don't, you don't fast or you don't eat, you don't drink anything during that whole you know period of the day and then so basically so you you have the fajr basically the morning prayer and you have the zur which is like the afternoon prayer it's around one something like that and then you have like almost the mid afternoon prayer and then you have the maghrib prayer and during that Maghrib prayer, that's what we, Maghrib prayer here in the UK is, is about um, 9.50, 9.50 something. That's the iftar. It means the break. That's why you break your fasting. So during that, that time of the prayer, of the iftar, of the Maghrib prayer. And then after that, so you have Isha prayer. Or uh, I think the the prayer Isha prayers after Maghrib till you know midnight or something like that, and during that prayer the Isha prayer during the Ramadan you also pray Tarawih and it's um, it's a little bit longer. So overall this time of prayer is like you pray. I think it's like a seventeen, you know, seventeen rakat that you pray during during that um, Isha and Tarawih prayer. Then uh, Maghrib you pray. Um, up to five, three and two, and then um, the one the prayer before no, just not before Maghrib, yeah, before Iftar you pray four, and then the Zul just afternoon you pray also four, and also the Fajr prayer or the morning prayer you pray, um, you know, two four, so that's overall prayer, and you know. After iftar, yeah, after you break your fasting, so you can eat and you can drink till like four o'clock, for example, in the morning. Yeah, till four o'clock in the morning, that's the last time that you are able to eat. So that's how you know the fasting is done. So you don't eat during the whole day from let's say four o'clock till eight o'clock in the evening. And then from eight o'clock, you eat till four o'clock. And you do that continually 
for 30 days. And after the 30 days, then it come. So you celebrate, you know, everybody celebrate um, it and you break the fasting and then you go again for another, you know, almost a year or something like that. But the calendar keep, um, if you, if you put the calendar against the, like the Christian calendar, for example, like January to December, you know, the holy months kind of move along. Because last, last year, I mean, last year or the year before that, this was almost deep in, in the summer. And let me tell you that deep in the summer, <laughs> Ramadan, deep in the summer uh, in the UK, oh my God, it's too long. There's a moment where, you know, you start fasting from 2 a.m. and you break your fasting at 10 o'clock. It's almost 11 o'clock in the, in the evening. You see how long is that? And the good thing that if you manage to get the Ramadan during the winter, it's really short during the winter. I think you would break fasting like 4 o'clock or something like that. It's so short and so nice. But it's really... I, I advise you to try at least one, one day of Ramadan. It's not easy, but you know, you try. And it's really good. It's really good for your, you know, for your system. So Also, one thing that I will be, I'm also looking, looking to do during this Ramadan, I want to read the Quran for the next 30 days here of the Ramadan. I'm going to start from day one. I'm going to be reading the Quran till the end. And my hope is that by the end of the 30 days, Hopefully that I I can read the whole the entire Quran by the end of by the end of the end of the Ramadan. I wish that's that's my wish here. Yeah. That's my wish. So wish me wish me good luck. I still have not. And I still have not shop completely for the whole month yet. And yeah, I need to I need to do a big I think that's that I think that that's a mistake from my side that I did not I did not shop completely. Yeah, but I'm gonna do it anyway. But also I want to make sure that I really want to focus just eat up plant based during that Ramadan. I don't think it's gonna be easy, but I think that's my wish. Just gonna eat plant based like uh, see like now I'm just eating I don't know if you can see it's just a green we'll see yeah. So if you wanna if you wanna join me fasting, please do let me know in the comment box below and then comment box below and then you know we can make a plan together. Maybe you can fast for one day or even for half day and then you take it step by step and yeah. Yeah. And if you want us to read the Quran together, we can do it too. So let me know in the comment box below. I don't know how you're gonna follow you're gonna follow my journey. Yeah, I'm gonna follow my journey. And also I think you know one yeah, one thing that I also must say is that you know for for Muslim is is if if you are a pregnant woman, yeah, you're not your what, what is the word in English? Your your exam exam your exam from fasting. If you're a pregnant woman, if you're traveling, 
if you're sick, if you're very old. And so, yeah, for uh, some people that cannot fast, so you, you can't fast. And also, um, I think last time I checked, yeah, I think during this Ramadan, with the vaccination, vaccination is, is still going on. Last time I checked is that it's okay. Vaccination won't break your fasting. So, uh, you know, we can still get vaccinated and also we can keep our fasting going. So don't be, don't be concerned, yeah, that you're going to break your fasting because you get the, you get the job. So no. So that's, you know, that's good. And yeah, and just, you know, look after yourself, take care of yourself and, you know, everything going to be okay. Yeah. Okay then. So tomorrow will be day number one of fasting and let, you know, catch up after that to see how the day one goes. Yeah. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe now so you can follow, you can follow us, you can follow me during that fasting. And I'm looking forward for it. Yeah, definitely. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Always God bless you. Thank you. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. All right. I'll see you next time. Yeah. No, next time. I'll probably talk to you, talk to you after the first fasting tomorrow. All right. Bye for now. Cheers. Thank you. Bravo.